O oh Allah, on this day, make me among those who love your friends and have enmity for your enemies. And following the way of your last prophet, O oh, the guardian of the hearts of the prophets. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani rajim bismillahi rahmani rahim assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We have now reached the day 25 of the blessed month of Ramadan, and today our topic from Ramadan reflections is on friendship and enmity. Now right off the bat, people may think, well, what kind of a religion is this that practices love and hate, friendship and, and enmity? But if we look around us at the world of existence, we see that Allah has put these two factors in everything that we, uh, that we see. Look at the plants that, that we have on this earth. They take in carbon dioxide, a poison, and they give out oxygen. So they are attracting and repelling. They have a positive and a negative. They have a, a love and a hate, we can say. And everything in the world, you look at a battery, there's a positive and a negative. You see everything in the world and there's, there are always these two polar extremes. And these are not working against one another, but rather they are working with one another to create something better in the world. As believers, we also have the same two characteristics, or we need to have the same two characteristics of friendship and an enmity of love and hate. Uh, divinely approved love and also divinely sanctioned hate. When we look at the Quran, we see the following verse from chapter number 48, verse number 48, and it states the following in, in a small portion of it. That there are a group of people who are harsh against the belligerent dis disbelievers and are merciful amongst themselves. This verse tells us that the, the beginning portion mentions that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah and those that are with him are harsh against those who are belligerent and, and are openly violent against Islam, but they are merciful amongst themselves. So the Quran itself, our guidebook, tells us to have a love-hate relationship. We don't blindly hate, we hate those who are trying to attack us, who are trying to uh, oppress us, who are trying to oppress humanity on a whole, who are trying to oppress the weak and downtrodden of any religion and in any society. And conversely, we have rahmah, we have love, compassion, mercy for those who are with us. This is a religious perspective and a religious obligation that we have to our creator and to our religion. We end with a very beautiful hadith from the Prophet of Islam, the Prophet Muhammad, may God's peace and blessings be upon him, in which he gives us the following guidance about love and hate. And we read the following. None of you have truly believed until you love me more than you love yourself. And none of you have truly believed until you love my family more than you love your own family. And none of you have truly believed until you love my people more than you love your own people. And finally, the prophet says, and none of you have truly believed until you love me more than you love yourself. In this blessed month of Ramadan, as we count down the hours and the days to the day of Eid, let us be of those who have sincere love for Muhammad and the family of Muhammad and the followers, the true followers of Muhammad, and let us do our best to distance ourselves from the haters of Islam, the haters of the Prophet Muhammad, the haters of his family, and the haters of those who truly followed in the footsteps of Muhammad and the family of Muhammad. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.